Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. So we've got a question from a fellow boater named Jeffrey. Jeffrey goes on to ask, Jeff, I've been thinking about installing electric motors on my 37 foot catch with solar charging eventually. I've seen YouTube sailors who have a 48 volt bank for their motor and a separate 12 volt bank for their house loads. And others who run both off a single 48 volt bank. What are the disadvantages of either? Pros and cons. I love pros and cons. All right. Okay. So actually, by the way, you know, for some of you here, we're talking about having different voltages. You know, the fact that it's 48 and 12, it could also be 24 and 12. Okay. So it's really about having different battery voltages versus having similar battery voltages. Well, so let's take the specific example of 48 for propulsion and what do we do for house? Do we do 48 to keep it simple or do we do to 12 to keep it simple? There's good reasons to do both, but you can only choose one. So why would they do 48, 48? Well, obviously it's easy to share everything, 48, 48. If everything's 48 volts, it's easy to have things in parallel. It's You can run one off the other. You can have combined switches. There's a lot of reasons why many of us have our systems all the same voltage, 12, 12, 24, 24. That being said, sometimes, right, and it's not that uncommon, we're seeing boats with 24 volt and 12. Now, in this instance, we have 48 volts and 12. So the, the dilemma or the problem with 48 volts is you can't run everything at 48 volts, right? There's not a lot of DC appliances that are gonna run at 48. So if that's the case, then you're gonna need to have a converter right? Some sort of device that is going to convert 48 to 12. Now, the problem with that is they're rate limited. Those converters can't just take 100 amps, whatever amps. You, when you buy a converter, you say, I want a converter that's going to go to 48 to 12. And you're going to say the maximum amperage. So now you're having issues when you're converting via a converter from 48 to 12. You're saying only a certain maximum of loads are going to be able to run, right? So like, for example, if you don't, can't find a 48 volt windlass, how are you going to run a 24 volt windlass on a 48 volt battery, battery bank? Well, you have to do it through a converter. Now, if you do it through a converter, are you going to be able to find a converter that can run at whatever amperage you need? Not obvious, not obvious, right? Batteries don't have a rate limiter. You know, you can draw a lot of current. We know that because we start engines with them, right? And so if you can start an engine, there's no rate, there's no real current limiting device on a battery. If you stick with 48 volt battery for your house and you're going to run whatever loads that aren't 48 via a converter, you're going to have a challenge. Hence, but that's not to say it's a showstopper. It's going to be a challenge. Hence why many boaters choose to have a 48 volt battery bank for propulsion. But then what they do is they have a 12 volt battery bank. And how they solve the conversion issue is now what they're doing is they're rate limiting the conversion from 48 to 12. So you can charge a 12 volt battery bank with a 48 volt battery bank. You can do that through conversion, but your the rate limiting effect doesn't matter because it just means that it takes longer to run to recharge the other battery. What's good about having a 12 volt house or a 24 volt house is now you can run a bunch of appliances, easily run 12 volt or 24 volt appliances. There are so many appliances now that are easily doing 24 volts. So that's the advantage of going with a 48 volt for propulsion, 12 volt for house, and then having the conversion process between the two being rate limited, but that doesn't matter because the loads are running off respective battery banks. So pros and cons to both. From what I've seen, um, most boaters here are doing 48 and then 12. Now, if you've done a different setup on your boat, I'd love to find out why. Please share. I'm not saying there's no right or wrong here. There's pros and cons to both. And if any one of you have done something completely different, again, please share down below. Share how you did it, why you did it, and how has it been going? Because ultimately, we're all here to learn. So thanks for everyone for watching. If you're curious, we've written whole articles about this. Go on our website, search it out. Uh, and we've got a lot of other uh, tech talks about this very topic. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. Um, it actually, it really does make a difference. It encourages us to keep posting. So if you're watching this video and haven't had a chance to subscribe, we really do care because the more of you that are watching, the more <laughs> of us over here are willing to put, spend more time in creating content. So thanks again.